Indonesia has introduced a significant addition to its defense arsenal with the debut of the SLT anti-tank rocket system, revealed at the Indo Defense 2025 exhibition. Developed through a collaboration between PT Harif Daipa Prasada and state-owned PT Dahana, this system represents a pivotal step toward establishing Indonesia's autonomy in light weapons manufacturing. The collaboration was cemented with a Memorandum of Understanding signed on June 12, 2025. Harif Defense is leading the design and development of the rocket launcher, overseeing everything from electronics and aerodynamic structure to software architecture. PT Dahana is contributing explosive materials, propellants, and insulation technology. The primary end user, the Indonesian Army's Infantry Weapons Center, plans to integrate the system into national defense doctrine. The SLT system is intended to neutralize armored threats using shape charge rockets. These rockets come in both live and smoke versions. The launcher is built for reuse and features a modernized targeting unit, including an OLED screen for displaying ballistic data, fed by onboard sensors and rangefinding equipment. The targeting software runs on Linux and is programmed in C++, enabling real-time ballistic computations and targeting assistance. Weighing just over 3.3 kilograms without its projectile and stretching just over a meter in length, the launcher is compact and manageable for infantry operations. It includes an electronic trigger system and supports manual and semi-automated targeting within a 200 to 300 meter combat range, with range estimation supported by both laser tech and visual inputs up to 1000 meters. The rocket component measures 541 millimeters in length and 78 millimeters in diameter, weighing roughly 1.46 kilograms. It houses a passive propulsion module and is equipped with an ARM Cortex M4 processor, supported by gyroscopes, accelerometers, and proximity sensors. The rocket's guidance mechanism includes fixed rear fins and steerable front fins, and its components are made from advanced materials such as composites, rubber, aluminum, graphene, and polystyrene. The warhead is loaded with a 5AP explosive. Target acquisition is facilitated by a 12.3 MP camera paired with a laser rangefinder capable of detecting vehicles up to 1,000 meters and human targets within 300 meters. The optics module operates on a 7.2 to 8.4 V DC power supply, drawing 0.3 amps, and weighs 1.27 kilograms with dimensions of 120 by 115 by 108 millimeters. In terms of domestic production, the rocket boasts a local content ratio of 50%, while the launcher reaches 41%. These figures underscore the government's intention to gradually increase national self-reliance in arms manufacturing. The SLT is not limited to training, it is being developed further into guided and smart missile variants for battlefield deployment. By launching the SLT project, Indonesia is asserting its capability to equip its military with locally engineered anti-tank solutions, while simultaneously advancing its industrial base for future weapons production. The system, if mass-produced, could become a standard asset in the Indonesian Army's arsenal.